What is going on, YouTubers? Abdur7 here from AndroidTechBlackSpot.com. Right now, I will be reviewing Embroyo Unmatched ROM for Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for AT&T. Keep in mind, this will work on Rogers Bell Telus uh, Skyrocket 2, and this is a stock ICS ROM with a lot of different features. So let's go ahead and get to the process of flashing come on so I'm gonna go ahead and go into clockwork Maricori by pressing that if you don't have that option by if you don't have custom ROM then you can go ahead and press volume up volume down and the power button once the screen gets black, you can let go the power button. On second screen, you can let, uh, let go the other two buttons and you will be into the clock of more recovery. So as you can see, it will take time to get into clock more recovery. If it takes too much time, you are going to go ahead and remove the back cover pop the battery out put the battery back in and as I told you do it manually first of all I go to that button second vibrate and there you go so what I did is uh, turn off the phone all three buttons once you get the first fiber let go of the power button and keep pressing the other two and you'll be right here now what you're gonna go do is back up and restore you're going to go ahead and back up to internal SD card this is a good idea because if it fails in between your flashing ROM or if it fails you do something messing up you can always go ahead and go back and restore your backup which will always help as you can see the progress is going pretty fast so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it up here so you can see the exact process of what's going on rather than me just keeping everything I am using Galaxy S3 to suit this video. as you can see it's almost done and here you can see the free space is 6173 MB which is 6.173 gigabytes and under there you can see the process it says backing up boot image which is your kernel recovery image which is your recovery and now it's backing up the system and those are the files that it's backing up just want you to know what's going on when you see this so it's getting almost done this ROM has uh, so many different features has a uh, toggles for switching between AOSP and stack circle lock screen so you can do like uh, AOSP means uh, ICS lock screen versus the TouchWiz lock screen which you just saw. Uh, toggle for hiding career label. So you know where it says AT&T you can hide that. Custom clock. Means you can have a different setup for clock. You can have it in middle, left, right or no clock. 
toggles for volume keys to wake up so you can when you have when your phone is unlocked you can press volume button and it will wake your phone up CRT off animation toggle 3D gallery bypassing all exchange security policies for your email as you can see it's already done backing up now we are going to go ahead and press wipe data factory reset three times so if you haven't figured out volume up and down is your scroll that's what you use to scroll and power button is what you use to select gonna do that three times once that done we are going to go ahead and wipe cache three times once that done we are going to go ahead and install Z from SD card internal and you can see right there Embroil base 5.0 we are going to flash that has an S voice and all other features too which is gonna be coming up next in my review video so make sure you go ahead and get, check that out you will see what it's doing right now And this is a stock ROM, so as you know, it will take time to install. And here you can read what it's uh, installing. Installing Embroil 5.0 Samsung ATT SGH i727 UCLF6 base. This is for people who like stock and loves running stock ROMs or any other ROMs. So install is completed. We're going to go ahead and flash the data for the embroil, which has uh, different files like uh, what do you call? Has a uh, S Voice and Google Now, I think, some on all the extra features like that in that file. So please go ahead and go flash that too if you want the features. And it comes with its own custom kernel. I'm using a really old Clockwork My Recovery. So you might want to go ahead and update through the ROM manager. Reboot system now. Actually, I recommend wiping cache partition before doing that because I know Skyrocket had a reboot issue. So then just press reboot and your phone will be rebooting.
as you can see the back lid is up your soft light keys are up that means your phone will be booting up in matter of time that's a good indication that your phone is not boot looping a vibrator that's another good indication and there you go it has boot it up and it will be running after it's done installing the rock applications so as always guys thank you for watching the videos uh, thank you for supporting me thank you for subscribing me go ahead and go check out andertagblackspot.com and I'll see you later thank you